Okay, let's... Ooh, hello. Shock and jock? Shock and jock. Let's do a little shock and jock. Shock and jock? Shock and jock. Shock a shock a jock. Uh... Yeah. Go! <laughs> yeah, this is a really pretty horse. I wonder how good it is. Four! Better than mine! Well, of course, most horses seem better than Gangle for some reason. That's one of them. That's not what I'm after. I'm after that up there. I wonder if the white horse is back. Because, like, Gangle seemed to have re replaced the white horse. For some reason. I, well, I guess, I guess, no, the white horse wasn't Breath of the Wild. Yeah, it wasn't just a past thing. What's, what's going on over here? The Sanidin Park Ruins. Besides a Korok that is probably near this fountain. Yep. How'd I know? I played this game before. What else are we looking at here? They don't have memories, so it's not that. Oh, that's cool. I don't think that was in Breath of the Wild. That's neat. There's probably a quest that takes us here at some point. It's kind of weird how little is actually here. Although it does look restored. It looks very nice. Hi. Okay. Well, let's get back up on our horse really quick. Come on. I don't want him to despawn somehow. Come on. Where's your friend? Oh my word, that's so far. Actually, that is kind of where I want to go anyway, though. Hmm. Sure, I'll help you out. Yeah. I did want to check out, um, that. We, need, we do need to go to this shrine, but... I, I think we're moving on to the Great Plateau now. We're pr uh, or not the Great Plateau, not yet, but the Central Hyrule, which will lead to the Great Plateau as we go south. And uh, exploring this, going here, and seeing how we get to the depths from from this weird uh, island, I think is all part of that. So let's start out with. It is a cart. So please work then. I don't need the fire attachment. Go. There you are. Oh, snap. I attached him to the battery. I attached him to the battery! No! Be careful. Angle it down just a little bit so he starts sliding towards me. Okay. Why did I do that? That's so dumb. Okay. We're good? We're fine. We're okay. Oh, and this leads me to the well that I wanted to see anyway. I do kind of want to... I guess it just leads there. It doesn't actually matter. Yeah, there's just a pool of water. Okay, it doesn't matter. Gently crash. We did it. Yeah, he's over that way. He's tumbling in a bloody heap. I did it. <laughs> you have him. Congratulations. Bye. Don't despawn my plane. Don't despawn my plane. Okay, good. And I want to go there. We can fly over it. And if it's not interesting, then I can just move on. The cart's kind of cool. It, it it makes planes a little bit more convenient. Actually, it might make them lo a lot more convenient than I think, because I can just constantly park them and keep flying. So this this might be the truth. I'm not sure. Undoubtedly, there's a treasure in there, and we're about to lose our plane anyway. I don't see anything. I'm getting shot at, though, by the locals. I don't really s Is that a... What is that? Oh, it's a Korok. Of course it is. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what this area has for us. Does that have one of Misko's treasures in it? It really just seems like an, a place with enemies. One of many. And a waist-high water that's really annoying. Will I kill these ducks? Yeah! 
ducks down. Okay, now what? I guess I'm gonna kinda explore this from the top down, I think? That looks really weird. Enemy base on the middle of a nothing, okay. On a bridge. Let's beach this briefly. You know, traversing a map like this is something that you just simply don't get in Breath of the Wild. It is kind of cool. It's a nice change of pace. Also, uh, okay, we're gonna ignore that. <laughs> Hinoxes are not meant to be on tops of on the top of bridges. Uh, my ultimate goal is to get to this exact island because, ow, you paid for that with your life. Because there should be an entrance to the depths here. Does this do anything? Okay, my mask. I didn't, I didn't hear my mask wiggling. Because this area is in the depths. And we can't get to it from the depths. I don't really think there's anything interesting in here, but I, I could see it, it housing one of Misko's treasures. At the very least, it's curious. It's, it's my playthrough. Dang it. And I am- I'm curious. I'm curious about what this would bring. And this is the closest we're gonna be getting to the castle for quite a while, actually. I'm not seeing that distinctive red smoke of an entrance to the depths. Maybe it's on the small island. I could see that. They are connected. Yeah, where do you want to go? Okay. I got- I got you, buddy. The good thing about this... ...is that I can just... ...take off immediately after- after getting this Korok Seed. It wasn't really that much of a detour. It was- it was more a cost than a detour. No! No! Where's my plane? You... ...dirty... ...sack! I hate Koroks! <laughs> Okay. Go. Oh, wait. Hold on. There. Oh! We're good. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Stupid. Korok! Okay. We need to be up here anyway. So I'm looking for... I'm looking for the entrance to the depths. And I'm not seeing it. I'm actually starting to get a little bit confused. Was this just a dead end as I almost hit that raven? I'm not sure how to get to the depths from here. Weird. Okay. Well, I feel like I've done a lot of nothing. Um, a lot of stuff that I'm just going to be cutting out. So I'm going to teleport back to the tower. And we're going to get the shrine and actually start exploring Hyrule Field. Because I, I want to have the central Hyrule expl fully explored by the end of this session. So let's do that. Oh, there's another one over there. We will be grabbing that. Uh, I don't see any others. All right. Got some stakes around here. Oh, we have this guy. Uh, what do what do we do with this guy? Um, uh, do we need stakes for that? Oh. Hello. That's weird. Oh, I get it. Ah, decent reward. Rock solid. Ooh, meaty rice balls. Thank you. And a shroom. Cool. All right, let's get into this shrine. Let's actually get some... Get some progress this episode. I've only gotten one shrine so far. A fixed device, Mayashin Shrine. Teaching us about stakes. <laughs> that was close. Uh, I'm not sure if we need to take that with us yet. What does this do? What? Oh, we need to bat it. What does this do? Turns around and reveals a button. Okay, so... I got it. I got it.
Okay, the, bu the button's pressed. Okay, good. Boosh! <laughs> I broke the thing. Alright, so that's how we get... That's how we get... Oh, there's another one. Oh, how did I miss that? Upward, I think. Whoa! <laughs> I think I can do this. Now. First shot. First shot. Both displaying my pedigree as someone who enjoys playing tennis games and also my pedigree of a baseball player. Uh, all that for an elixir. Well, really, it, it's all that for checking a box. I'm curious. I just want to try it. <laughs> this is stupid. Ah! <laughs> I told you it was stupid. I didn't really expect much, much else. I just wanted to see what would happen. And I did! Ah, yes, I'll be right with you. I return to the stable. Uh, <laughs> I really don't want to do any of this without my horse. And while I was doing this, I realized... I didn't know what rewards I had available. It looks like none. Get over here. Get over here. Come here. Wait, hold on. I totally forgot to talk to Pen. Hello, partner. You here to investigate the rumors, too? I admire your spirit. Most folks wouldn't let a story keep them up so late, but not you. You're the real deal. I've been hearing some interesting chirps and warbles. Yeah. Oh, so you're a reporter. I just had a bit of a strange experience, is all. Oh, wait, that's... Wrong person. Pell or Pen and Nell. You see, I was by the debris near the three-way intersection up ahead when a woman came up to me. Please, please, you have to help her. Her life is in danger. It would only make it worse to reveal who she is. But please, you must save her. That's what she said to me. Okay? That sounds like Yiga, if you ask me. The woman sounded really desperate, so I decided to follow her. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't keep up. Eventually, I lost track of her. That's all there is to it. Hey, partner. Does something strike you as odd about this person whose identity can't be revealed? As if revealing who she is to strangers is dangerous. Could she, she be someone of great importance? And if her life is already in danger? Well, combining these facts makes me wonder if this isn't actually a, p a particular important person who has gone missing. I can't be sure, of course, but if there's a slight chance, there's only one way for us to know for sure, though. We'll have to peg away at this news and see what the truth is. Now that, I, that, now that I'm thinking about the whole thing again, why was that woman staring so hard at my hair? How strange. Yep. Well, this is going to be kind of a lame quest. Literally just a Yiga man member? At least it'll be a quick one. Hi. Someone. Help me. Oh, no. My poor friend. Please. You must save her. But, but blonde hair. Hey, they spelled blonde right this time. Good job. I do not know who you are, but I ask you, please help me. My poor, regal friend's life is in danger. I cannot reveal who she is, for that would only make things worse. She's in hiding and unable to move. My friend is in such danger. Please, I can't help her all by myself. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Oh, thank you so much. I mean, <clears throat> my... My friend is in hiding right now. That is the only way for her to remain undetected by those with ill intent. How fast is this woman? <laughs> we should go to where my friend is, but be careful not to be seen. We don't want to draw evil to her. I will wait for you down this road. Meet me as soon as you can. Fade to black. Oh, no, okay. Fade to black, yep. Fade to black, because we can't have anyone have animations. No, no. Okay, so down this road. That, okay, I... I ran into... I ran into a fox. Uh, let's kill that bird up there. 
Nice. Let's kill that guy over there. Ow. Die. Oh, he blocked it. There are lots of ne'er-do-wells around. I'm not sure how serious she was about evil spotting me or not. Oh, there she is. Hello. Yes, it's a horse. There are horses in this world. My apologies for leaving you behind. I was overtaken by con my concern for my friend. She's resting safely out of sight. It's the only way to stay safe. I'm sorry that the path is so poor. Uh, what? Could you possibly go to the top of that cliff? We can meet right where you can see the fallen debris. I'm going to climb this cliff now, apparently. Okay. Um. Wait, that cliff? That cliff. Right? Yeah, that cliff. Okay. Do I have a, a shield? A rocket shield? Can I have a rocket shield? I don't know if I do. I do. I have one left. Cool. Unless... Oh, I can't be that lucky. That would have been really good game design if they did that. But alas, they did not! Okay. So, there's going to be a Yiga at the top of this thing. The only question is, it's probably just going to be a Yiga swordsman, I'm guessing. We'll fight him, we'll kill him, and then we'll go back. Not really what I expected, but I did... I do need to do these quests to get the froggy armor. Um... Oh, there you are. At least we'll get a good view. Hello! Was it here? Don't lead me everywhere, please. It must be him, then. Oh, I'm so rude. You have my apologies. Come now, my, fr my friend is waiting up ahead. Don't make me go across the cliff. Why? <laughs> She's waiting nearby, around the debris on the opposite cliff. I will go on ahead and let her know you are coming. It is a bit far off, but I know you'll be able to make it. Again, if we weren't fading to black... We would know that she's just straight up evil. Oh, these are all marked. Look at all these things that are marked. All these things that I can't... Oh, I'm, I can't wait to get to the Great Plateau. We would know that she's not as she seems. She's not just a normal woman. Hello. Yes, hi. I'm sorry for all that. It was important for me to test you. Blonde hair, courage to overcome a challenge, and then another challenge, and then another challenge. Oh, and your disgusting, unwavering commitment to do good. You are Princess Zelda's chosen bodyguard, the Swordsman Link, correct? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad to have finally met you. Now I can take you to the last stop in our little journey. <laughs> your grave! Ha ha ha! Ha ha! It was I the whole time! A normal dude? Are you kidding me? Oh! Oh, hi! Oh, hi! Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> One. Oi! Oh, wait. Ha! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, um, I guess you don't need to watch out for me. You just need to watch out for my ghosts as they're about to shoot you. Ha! <laughs> you know, maybe I just don't do anything. Maybe I just watch. Yeah, I just watch. <laughs> I'll let you off this time. But don't expect such mercy next time. Prepare yourself. Okay. Yeah! Hey! Hey, partner! So this is where your investigation took you. Looks like you got, really got yourself on, out on a limb there. I've been scouting from the skies, trying to get to the bottom of this story. I heard that woman was luring people away. I thought I heard her voice, so I swooped down on down, and hey, here you are. So, tell me, what have you unearthed? I see. Who could have guessed that this whole story was a, uh, could, would be an elaborate trap set by the Giga clan? And if you didn't know, there are a group of assassins trying to bring down the kingdom of Hyrule. 
I hear they were good at disguising themselves, but playing the part of a villager? I never would have guessed. And to flush out all the swordsmen who flush out the swordsman who protects the princess. Ah. They thought you, a young up-and-coming reporter who just happens to have blonde hair. They believed you are actually that swordsman. Well, that's just bad luck for you. You've definitely got some skills, though, if you can escape from the Yiga clan. I'm proud of you, partner. I'm glad I don't have to write a headline like, Junior Reporter Falls to the Cruel Blade of the Yiga in Pursuit of Truth. We've worked together to chase three of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. You know, I don't think anyone would take you for a rookie with how hard you've been working these investigations. I'm sure Tracy appreciates your efforts. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Oh. Oh, well, that's right. Tracy has had nothing but ni th nice things to say about you, partner. It seems like a little extra something for I in your compensation this time around. No surprise there. Anyway, it's time I took off and, and turned these unusual details into an article. You take care, partner. Ah. Suck my so long! <laughs> you guys have ruined that for me. The beckoning woman complete! Now, back to my horse. Thankfully, this this quest took me right back to my horse, so I don't need to warp back to the stable. Okay. Shrines! Exploration! 